What's up guys? How are you today? Um, it is Monday. Wow, I look so white. These freaking windows. I just, I can't, I just can't win, can I? Uh, I just want to give you guys a physique update. So I am 107 days out from USA Nationals in Las Vegas. Pretty excited. About 15 weeks, I think that is. <coughs> Why do I go by days? Because every day I mark off my board over there to motivate me that much further that each day it's another day that's closer to stepping on that stage and I better get my shit together and you know make sure I stay 100% on top of my game. Uh, so where do we leave off? So we left off on, I did a 60 day uh, vegan transformation, which was great. Um, I think I lost, yeah, I lost about 10 pounds. I started from 180, got to about 170 which I'm still kind of stuck at 170. It just now moved a little bit. I weigh about 168, which is a victory, which is only two pounds, but it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, the scale doesn't matter. What matters the most is that, so doing the whole plant-based diet for that long has really changed my mindset, uh, approaching my bodybuilding prep this time around. So I, I did go back to meat, but I don't eat like beef and I don't eat chicken, but I do eat uh, buffalo and I'll eat fish and I'll eat, um, so I'll do that for protein. Um, I was doing some tempeh, but that has soy beans, so I'm not gonna uh, do the tempeh anymore. So each month I get closer to the show, I just keep cutting out. Um, if I'm gonna do a cup of oatmeal, now I'll go back to like half a cup of oatmeal. I start to do uh, controlling my carbohydrates a little bit better. Uh, I'll take away more of the sweet stuff out so you don't want to change too drastically too fast, otherwise you'll just fall off the whole plan and go and gorge yourself with uh, you know, all the sugars and whatever that you craved. <clears throat> so each month gets a little bit harder, which is okay because I'm doing a, a slow process, but it's still a progressive process where I still will see the changes. I'm not just stuck at a certain uh, weight all the time. Um, not that the skill always matters. So the measurements that we did, I measured myself on Friday, which uh, that photo that I took on the um, screen <clears throat> with the bodybuilding I was doing uh, to see how my suit would fit me and surprisingly it still does I mean yes I still have a little bit of flub on my lower stomach but my abs are definitely coming in which is great uh, my definition is showing I'm just really white <laughs> of course uh, so I was 17% body fat we're gonna say 17 the hard part for me is always doing, when I do a caliber um, body fat testing, my thighs are the hardest to pinch because I can't tell if it's fat or if it's uh, you know muscle because I don't really have like that loose skin, let's say this is loose skin, as opposed to when you pinch something that's muscular, like how am I gonna pinch that on my quad you know, to measure it? So I'll, I always do like two different estimates. So it, at first it said, um, 15%, it's only 2% difference, and then 17%, but I'm going to assume that I am heavier than that, so I'll assume that I will take the 17% body fat as an estimate of where I am right now, which is actually really good for me, because usually I'm at like 21%, sometimes 24%, I just don't know, it takes me a long time to shut down, and that's why I started so damn early, because even though I started so early, it doesn't mean like I just jump right into the game and I'm eating clean 100% all the time, that's not true. For example, like I'll have um, a cheat meal still every once in a while, but as I approach the stage closer, I will not have the cheat meals anymore. Um, so it gets you slowly into the progress. I can't just jump right into prep and expect to do my best right off the bat when you've been eating an off season and enjoying your life in off season. That's just not going to happen. It's, it's too much of a torture and I want to be a smarter approach as, you know, you want to do a smart approach to the whole thing, not just jump right in. Um, other than that, let's see, uh, cardio, um, it's been consistent, not always in the morning, uh, which I need to do. So I will start doing cardio for now on every morning, like I was saying before, but I did start that about a month and then I kind of fell off of it. I still do cardio throughout the day, but not in the morning, like I would normally do, usually like fasting. Um, so the difference between the diet now and like the vegan diet, I still eat a lot of vegetables and I'm not really like... I got used to eating so much vegetables, being on a vegan diet, that it doesn't bother me now. I actually like, I enjoy eating my salads. I don't like, cause all my other bodybuilding preps, I'll be like, oh, fucking, fucking vegetables. I don't want to eat my carrots. I don't want to eat that shit. It tastes like shit. <laughs> you know, you, you crave flavor. You want flavor all the time. Or you'd rather have like real carbohydrates. 
Um, but for now, I think it's about almost three months, going on three months, where I actually do a gigantic green smoothie every morning. And at first it was disgusting, you know, your taste buds don't like it, you don't like it. But I got used to it because now when I drink it, I swear, I swear on my life that it's almost like it's my coffee. As soon as I drink that, when I'm so tired in the morning, I feel so much better. Like I can feel my eyes open, um, I have energy, and I'm actually really full before I can eat my, I call it my second meal, where I will start having like the protein and a little bit of carbohydrates because I, us I usually train in the mid-morning time uh, between 10 a.m. and maybe noon. Those, those are my uh, training hours, usually. And I always have carbohydrates right before I train, just a little bit. But in the morning, I will not do um, carbs. So I'll do my vegetable smoothie, which sounds, basically, I don't do anything. Like, there's no sugar in that bitch. <laughs> it's fucking, it's plain ass vegetables and just water. And I'll, I'll do like chia seeds, uh, kale, uh, chard, uh, sometimes cucumbers. And I've been doing carrots. And I usually hate carrots, but I notice um, the carrots make it taste sweeter, which is so weird to me because I never liked carrots. I never thought carrots tasted sweet to me. But maybe it's because now my taste buds are getting used to drinking this every single day for about almost three months now. Um, and then what else? So I'll have that for breakfast. I go train, come back. I'll have a little bit more carbohydrates. Um, sometimes uh, I will do the veggie burger still, uh, but those will eventually be cut off because just that anything that's frozen and things like that, that are it's still kind of processed. And in bodybuilding, it's very strict dieting as far as, you know, you don't want artificial sweeteners. You don't want any fillers, any uh, foreign things that are processed. You're better off eating a whole plant um, whole food nutrition, uh, you know, and I actually, I'm not taking any, um, supplements. I don't take creatine like I used to. I'm not taking whey protein anymore. Uh, I was doing the, uh, vegetable, uh, protein powder, but what's the point? I mean, I'd rather eat than just to drink something that's a supplement. That's how I, uh, decided that, which I actually feel fuller. I don't feel like I'm hungry all the time, probably because I am doing all these, uh, vegetable juicing at the same time and eating my proteins on time and the carbohydrates that I am allowed. I decided that for this prep for right now, uh, I am at a 1500 calorie uh, diet. And so that means I will consume 80 grams of carbohydrates, 50 to 60 grams, what is it, 60 grams? Can't remember, 60, 60 grams of fat. And then uh, protein is 160, 160 grams of protein. So the high protein and you know, kind of low carbohydrate and higher fat will help me sustain um, the energy that I need and to also lose because I am, I'm always been a big girl. It's always taken me very, very long to, sh to shred down to what I have to look like on stage. It's not, it's not an easy process for me and <clears throat> it just takes longer each time. So every time I do it, not longer each time, sorry, that's not what I meant. I meant it takes me a long time to get from what I look like in off season to stage. And so I have to start earlier than most because I, it's a slow process for me as far as each month gets a little harder. Um, but I have noticed that I am making a dramatic change as opposed to what I look like my previous shows because the, being this far out of the show, like I'm starting to see definition that I never had before. Like I said, I was already at 17% body fat when usually at this time I am in 21% or 24%, which is already a good sign. So that tells me, okay, I, I'm doing really good. You know, each time I do a show that my body is changing and it's not going exactly back where I used to be, where I would start at. It's not jumping all the way back up that high and losing all that, you know, like say losing the muscle and, and, and getting all that fat and losing complete definition. So I'm really happy about that. My back is getting uh, shredded each time. Uh, like I said, the hardest part for me is my lower body, lower body all down. So is, is very hard to shred down. I'll show you what my legs kind of look like if you can see them. So I'm still big, but they're starting to shred a little bit. I don't have, you know, I don't have a tan or anything, but <sighs> so the big booty and everything else is, is coming down and what else? So that's it. I'm just going to keep going. My shoulders are coming in, biceps are coming in, just need a tan. <laughs> my chest is definitely coming in, so my boobies are a little bit smaller, but I mean, boobs are fat. They're, they're gonna come back anyways. I'm not really worried So about if you would that. like to follow my, uh, my journey, uh, please hit subscribe and like this uh, video. If, the, if there's something you like, I don't know, not everyone likes this kind of stuff. Um, if you have any questions or um, 
you know, you need help with your nutrition or training, uh, you can email me below. I think my email address should be right under the video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Misha the Savage. Also, my Facebook page is also below. Have a wonderful Monday. Work hard. It's almost summertime. So, you know, get those meals in, get your exercises in and, you know, one step at a time. I believe in you. If you want to look good on that beach, you got to put in the work because like I said, no one's going to do it for you.